I was working on a 96 Accord just like this, and it was kind of a hurry job. I did show how to change out the uh, radiator support on it, but um, I got to thinking. I was looking at videos after I'd done all this to see if anybody had a real good video on how to remove the front bumper, and no one does. They're, they're showing uh, idiotic ways of trying to remove that front bumper cover when uh, in actuality you just drop that whole bumper as one piece, and it's really easy. So I'm going to try to show you without actually having the car in hand uh, diagrams and stuff to show you how uh, that bumper comes off. See the catch is in order to get that bumper cover off you have to take these uh, plastic clips out and the headlights sit right on top of them. In order to get the headlights out of the way you have to take the bumper off. So you, therefore it's a catch 22 so you're going to have to remove the bumper and it actually comes off really easy and really quick. There's videos out there that shows you how to to rip these things, the ones you can't get underneath it, or um, uh, take side marker lights out, take the grill out. It's a lot of stuff to take loose and there's no need in all this. So let me step you through the easiest way to do this. Let's start off with the easy one. There's one on each side where the serial is pointing straight up um, right there at the edge. It's a, a bolt that takes an 8mm socket unscrew that on each side and that'll have it released and then you can actually uh, pull the bumper it just snaps to the fender there and just pull it out real easy and it pops loose. Next you're going to want to be able to undo the fasteners on the bottom of the bumper. They range from three to six. You'll have some that connect to the fenders and then some directly below to the radiator support. You want to disconnect these so that way you can pull the whole front bumper loose. You can see in this picture that what I've done is highlighted all the uh, mounting holes. So those two on the upper, the ones I was talking about earlier going up in the fender well, one on each side, 8mm bolts. Then they can range from little plastic screw clips to just push in pop in clips on the other, other ones. This is your typical bumper, so that's your mounting points. This is from the back side of the bumper, so you're not going to normally see this, but that gives you an idea where they're at. Then you want to take the uh, front turn signal lights out. And the way you do that is just by going at an angle with the screwdriver through these little holes here. It's just one screw per marker lens and it goes in at an angle through the bottom grill. Uh, just look real close and you'll see with the flashlight or whatever, it's pretty easy to see. And just run a long screwdriver Phillips into that and unscrew the screw to be able to pull out the turn signal lens. As you'll see in this diagram here, how the screws go at the angle. I've got them circled in red. And then from there, You'll see I've got the, the holes for the marker lights. You'll be running your wrench through there to be able to get these two bolts right here out. When you look straight through that marker lens hole, and then I mean straight on, you will see the two bolts. And it's just two bolts, two per side. You'll go in with a long extension. And I have found that sometimes they're 12 millimeters and sometimes they're 14 millimeters. Um, so you just have to try, but it should be one of the two. Run your ratchet <clears throat> with a long extension straight on those two bolts and remove them. And then uh, do it on both sides where you try to remove the bumper. And then the bumper is going to slide down on a Frankenstein bolt. So in this illustration here, it's the side view of the, uh, which the one you see to the left is the actual frame rail of the car. And that's the Frankenstein uh, bolt sticking out it's shouldered and to the right is the framing of the bumper or the what they call the bumper reinforcement it sticks out that'll go into a hole into the inside of that channel after you remove those two bolts uh, it'll allow that to slide down to a wider area then you can pull the bumper straight forward if you were looking at the back plate of the um, bumper reinforcement, the part that goes up against the frame rails or against the car. This is what the plate would look like. You can see the upper hole is really big so that allows you to be able to hunt and peck until you find the Frankenstein bolt and then you have to lift up and then put your two bolts in locks down. Or if you're removing, take the two bolts out and let it drop down and pull forward. And that's how, a bump, that's how the uh, bumper comes off without having to do all the stuff that the other videos are showing like uh, stretching plastic around, uh, trying to run your hand up in holes, um, it, or even breaking. I've seen where the, some of them show the breaking the headlight or 
removing the grill and just a whole lot of extra stuff that's not necessary. Just follow this procedure here so it's basically a few uh, bolts, retaining bolts and clips that hold the front bumper cover on. Remove those. That shouldn't take more than five minutes, ten minutes. And then uh, take the marker lights out, run the two uh, bolts out, pull them out, and then drop the bumper down and it's off. Now I made this video for two reasons why you take the bumper off, basically. I mean, there's multiple two reasons, but uh, if you've got a damaged bumper cover and you want to replace it, you're going to have to be able to remove the bumper as I've shown. Then you'll have all these clips where I've got them circled and that'll remove the actual bumper cover off the uh, front bumper reinforcement bar. So you take those loose and you pull the cover off. If you're just trying to replace a headlight, then you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is just pull that bumper off and then the headlight will come off, come off after that because there's no way to get the headlight off with the bumper on. But they did make the bumper come off pretty easy. And that's about it. Uh, Though the steps I showed makes it pretty easy to take the bumper off, like I said, to get the skin off or to remove the headlights. So if you like this uh, video, uh, be sure to subscribe and like. And I'm sure I'll have some more on little projects like this. And I'll see you in the next video.